Hey guys, it's Uber Cool Man back for a, another Nerf related video. Uh, forgot to turn the random sounds off. Okay, uh, now that the ambient sound in the background is gone, we can start the review. Uh, you probably read the title, it's on the barrel break. This blast was probably the, uh, the nerf blaster that I was most looking forward to, uh, the release of this year. And it came out quite a while, wow, quite a while ago. Uh, but I just, I mean, I'd known it was an exclusive, I'd known it was an exclusive for a while, but, uh, I just was in a Toys R Us last week, and I saw it there, only at Toys R Us, uh, the end strike barrel break, and you can already tell the box is very small, uh, Anyway, that's the box. Uh, it holds the blaster when you buy it. It's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, anyway, this is the blaster itself. It's pretty awesome looking, if I do say so myself. Double barrel shotgun sawed off. Double barrel sawn off shotgun. Um, Similar to the Busby shotgun, uh, minus the longer barrel and the stock, which I think they should have at least included a detachable stock if possible, just for the hell of it. Um, but I'm I'm not dissing this blaster at all. I think it's fantastic, and it's one of my favorite blasters they've come out in a while. Um, Anyway, basic run through. Trigger, obviously, this is to release the barrel slash initiate the cocking sequence. It's this, oops, excuse me, this lever right here. It's also on the other side. So you can right hand or left hand this blaster. Um, got a tactical rail on the top for uh, attaching specifically the ammo holder it comes with. Um, holds eight darts. Don't know why it took me that long to count that, but it's like midnight and I'm getting kind of tired. Uh, it's comfortable, and the way that was a great transition. The blaster is comfortable to hold. Now, the way you cock it is you release, or you. You depress this lever, the barrel will pop out part ways, pull it out the rest of the way, break the barrel, but until it reaches, until those two arrows line up, and then similar to the Busby shotgun, except minus the shells, you load the darts into the barrel, like so. Then, close the barrel up. Slide the barrel back in, and you're ready to fire. The stock, uh, this blaster has eh, mediocre ranges, um, but that's expected. They've got a funky instructions, whatever, diagram on the side. Uh, here's the ammo holder. I guess it's useful. I mean, you can just as easily keep the darts in your pocket, but, I mean, whatever, it's there, and the darts don't fall out too easily. So, I mean, I guess it's convenient. And you can load the thing pretty quickly. That's, a, that's about as fast as I can uh, reload and fire the, the blaster um, but all in all I think this is an awesome blaster I picked mine up at Toys R Us uh, I know there's a, a UK equivalent or a European equivalent to that I'm just I'm drawing a blank on the name 
So I'm pretty sure it's only Toys R Us. It's not in Target. It's not in Walmart. Um, I can't think of any other big, big chain stores that it'd be in. It would be in. Um, but you could probably find it on the Toys R Us website if you can't find it in the store. Uh, but all in all, a solid blaster and uh, definitely has some potential for modification. I haven't opened this thing up yet, but uh, I'm sure it's 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 an interesting internal. Um, and hopefully at some point they release the clear version of this because I'd like to, I, I don't know, I just think that'd be kind of neat. Uh, but that's the end of this review. Hope you enjoyed it, and another review up tonight, and more on the way. Uh, as I've mentioned in the last few videos, leave a comment down below telling me if you wouldn't mind if I reviewed stuff other than Nerf, and um, stay tuned. Alright, peace. Thanks guys. Bye.